Pants. I know it's a no-no, but since there was no one around, I used my binoculars to spy on the right of the inner sanctum. That's when I saw the accused. Stabbed the high priest with a dagger. Holy crap, that mouth. Damn. That's mahoosive. He's got one hell of a mouth. There's no way you saw Miss Face stab the victim with the dagger. I swear I don't know what he's talking about. Or don't remember at any rate. You can't even see into the inner sanctum, can you? Like, I'm almost certain you can't. Mount Pony Pony, the beautiful mountain that is also known as the Little Sanctum. Yeah, how... There's 12 meters in... in it, so there's no way he'd have been able to see. I don't think, anyway. They must be talking about that smaller mountain in the uh, from the poster. I guess so. Mr. Emus, I was wondering. What can I do for you? Or do you for? The inner sanctum lies at a high elevation where clouds and fog can obscure the view. Are you sure you were able to see what happened from the mountaintop next to it? Good point. His Majesty raises an excellent question. Well, Mr. Emus? On the day of the right, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I had a perfect view. If you don't believe me, check the weather forecast in the paper that day. Nick, don't we have the newspaper from for that day? Yeah, let's take a look. Perfectly clear. Air around the inner sanctum will enjoy calm, calm clear skies today. The warm temperature will make for excellent prayer weather. Be warned, however, that we'll see a cold front move in our front moving overnight. It does say calm clear skies, doesn't it? Hmm. I still don't think he'd be able to see, though. See, told you so. May the ninth. I still don't know how he's seen, unless he climbed the tree. Hmm. Well, it would appear the witness has offered testimony worth hearing. Mr. Emus, I too have a question for you. Didn't he already question the witness? Well, that's what I'm here for, right? Shoot. How was the accused holding the dagger? Was she holding it underhanded, its blade protruding from the butt? Well, oh, pardon me. Its blade protruding from the bottom of her hand. Yep, I believe she was. It's called a reverse grip. Ah. I thought as much. How the hell would that be an abdomen? Hold it right there. What bearing does that have on the case? Is he going to say he stabbed, she stabbed him in the abdomen from behind? Cease your interruptions, you putrid-headed lawyer. Jesus. Do you not see the significance in how the blade was held? Why don't you enlighten me, oh enlightened one? Heh. <laughs> I knew you were a fool. I can already picture you in your next life. Next life? Yes. After your soul arrived for centuries in the pits of hell. You shall be reborn as a witless sea urchin, with barbs limited to your posterior. You shall live a short, inconsequential life, only to be brutally devoured by a sea otter. That was a bit excessive. I simply asked what the dagger grip had to do with the case. Now pay attention. How the accused held the dagger is of vital importance. With such information, we can infer exactly what actions she took. You were saying that the victim was killed while he had his back to the accused. Is that correct? Yes. As such, the accused's dagger grip tells us something very important. The accused approached the victim from behind, swung her arms around, it, uh, around him, and plunged the dagger deep into his abdomen using a reverse grip. Yeah, I thought as much. What? Yeah, I figured that was going to be what he was going to um, bring up. Thus, Mr. Emus' testimony clears up any doubts that might remain. And it coincides with her benevolence's insights as well. This is a disaster. I thought I'd blown those insights out of the water, but now they're back to haunt me. 
<laughs> now then, the defense may cross examine the witness. Testimony finally. Cross examination. I'd already testified, yeah. The night of the murder. <laughs> so that night I was up at the top of Mount Pony Pony, the mountain next to the inner sanctum. Mm hmm. Are you sure you're not mistaken, Mr. Emus? Was it really Mount Pony Pony you climbed? Oh, I'm sure of it. It was really a Pony Pony ish mountain. What does that even mean? You know, now that I think about it, it was a mighty fine view. I hit crowds, so I crowned it, climbed up there to pray in peace. Do I have anything that would. contradict? Wait a minute, isn't that the mountain? In that pony pony? Oh, there we go. Three-part ceremony held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. Like, it mentions it. That doesn't really help, though. Do I present? Climb up there to pray in peace. Sure. Go for it. It mentions it. That's all that matters. Wrong! As soon as the music doesn't cut out, I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm going to prove I'm right. Oh! Oh! Okay, this is different. Objection, that statement is inconsistent with this piece of evidence. Let it go and move on, abandon this folly. You know very well you... You know very well, your evidence proves nothing. Nice try, but you can't make me give up. I'm going to prove I'm right. You can point your finger as much as you want, but you're simply wasting your time. Oh, right, that isn't it. I thought it was. <laughs> it's the fact it was different. I was like, no! It's a seal lawyer who doesn't know when he is beat. You just need to hang in there a little longer. Okay. So I hate crowds, so I climbed up there to pray in peace. If you hate crowds, why bother climbing to the top? Couldn't you have just as easily prayed at the bottom of Mount Pony Pony? Wrong, bucko. This is a, a once a year epic event. I wanted to pray as close to the actual thing as possible. If you're so gung-ho about it, why didn't you go pray at the Plaza of Devotion? Like I said, I hate crowds. I wanted to pray in peace. Oh, holy mother. Why do I only get the annoying ones? And my burning faith demanded that I climb up the mountain closest to the Inner Sanctum. Also... Hmm... <laughs> I know it's an honor, but since there was no one around... Since nobody was around, there is nobody who can corrobor corroborate your actions either. <laughs> oh, you're exactly right! In that case, Mr. Emus, let me ask you this. Was there a reason you didn't want to be seen? Uh, about that. If you get caught climbing the surrounding mountains on the day of the right, you can get in big, big trouble. This guy's alright, weirdo. That's it. Yeah, it's only embarrassing getting yelled at when you're a grown up. Yeah, you're a real grown up, alright. And since nobody was around, I lost all in. I lost all inhibition, and... I used my binoculars to spy on the right at the Inner Sanctum. Oh! It does come into play. He can't! God, fuck me, I'm stupid. 
Oh, I was just presenting shit because I was like, yeah, this. God, Jesus. I'm really like, I wouldn't say I'm struggling, but my God, I'm doing bad. <laughs> Your Majesty. I had my doubts about this bushy bearded witness, but now I know we can't trust him. What? You ain't just judging me solely on my bodacious beard, are you? Not at all, Mr. Emus. It's much more than your sketchy appearance. It's your sketchy testimony. His testimony, you say? Yes. Recall how the Inner Sanctum wa was that day. For starters, the mountain's 12 meters higher, and it also had a curtain. Specifically, that it was completely enclosed by the ritual curtain. Why, yes, I believe you're right. The curtain would have completely blocked the witness's view from Mount Pony Pony. Therefore, he couldn't possibly have seen the murder happen. Oh, ha. Huh. Mr. Emus, have you been knowingly making false statements to this court? Uh, um, well, uh, you got me. The witness will lower his voice. I didn't actually see the accused herself. Oh my god. He didn't actually see the accused herself. What's that supposed to mean? Let me set the record straight, I beg you. Okay, go for it, bruh. Okay, so now we have another testimony. The night of the murder, amended. I saw the shadowy silhouettes projected against the ritual curtain. The figures were created by the light of the full moon on that... By the light of the moon on that clear and still night. She was just a shadow, but I could tell it was the accused reverse grip in that dagger. Oh. Now I present the rights guide. Sh shadows. That's what you saw? That's right. I could see what was going on by the shadows predicted onto the ritual curtain. In the future, Mr. Emus, I would rather you offer up accurate testimony from the start. Forgive me, my main man, Mr. Magistry. Chalk it up to f my fuzzy memory. Though he saw but shadows, it is still a valuable testimony. You have to be kidding me. What are we going to do now, Nick? Um, all I can think is... To look for inconsistencies between the actual right and what Mr. Amos says he saw. Now then. The defense may cross-examine the witness once more. Yeah, now I think I present the ritual guide. They wouldn't be casting any shadows his way. Because the moon is... It comes from, like, Mount Pony Pony side. So the shadows would be cast toward the right-hand side of the Inner Sanctum. He's making it seem like the moon would come from the Inner Sanctum side. That's my idea, anyway. Baba, baba. So what you saw was simply shadows. That's right. Those shadow figures on that bright white curtain. They showed through your plain as day. I could see everything that happened. But Miss Faye and Abba in me were at the top of, the, of a mountain late at night. The only light up there was something from four small lanterns. How could the shadows have been projected that clearly onto the curtain? Oh, uh, now he's going, well. No wonder people harp on you lawyers. You're always so dang skeptical. The lanterns weren't the only source of light, you know. The figures were created by the light of the full moon on that clear and still night. So the ceremony end. No, wait, where is it? When the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. He was on that. Yeah, they would have cast the shadow to the other side of the Inner Sanctum. So that is right. Oh. Objection! You saw silhouettes projected by the moonlight. Sorry, but that's just not possible. What do you mean? How... how is it not possible that it was totally possible? That's impossible. I think I'm going to need a log... a <laughs> logical lease translation on that. Let's take a look at this rights guide, shall we, Mr. Emus? The right is held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. <laughs> do, do, do. So if the moon was shining from the west, any... any shadows would have been cast eastward. But Mr. Emus was standing to the west of the Inner Sanctum on Mount Pony Pony. Oh, holy mother. That's right. Our witness here couldn't have seen any shadowy figures on that curtain. Th no, no. 
No way! I quite like this guy. <laughs> Hmm, perhaps it was the sacred flames of the lens that cast the shadows he saw. I'm afraid not. I inspected them during my investigation, investigation, but... The flames were too small to cast the crisp, distinct figures Mr. Emus claims to have seen. But I did see those silhouettes. Really? But how could he, Nick? Maybe he was someplace where they were visible. Wait, don't tell me. Your Majesty. If Mr. Amos really did see those shadows, it brings a, brew, a brand new fact to light. Um, that would be... The brand new fact that comes to light if Mr. Amos really did see those shadows is... <laughs> he didn't see the matter. He was somewhere else. He wasn't where he claimed to be at the time of the murder. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh? Then where do you propose the witness was? Some place where he could have seen the shadow shadow figures, <laughs> naturally, my dear Watson. Wait, you mean <laughs> Oh I do None of the mountains east of the inner sanctum are close enough for a good view. That leaves only one place he could have clearly seen the shadows from. And where might that be? This is where Mr. Amos was at the time of the murder. The High Priest, the Plaza... Inner Sanctum? Oh god, I don't know. Are we painting... Are we painting him as the murderer? I don't want to say the wrong one. <gasps> Wait a minute! I wonder if he was, like, at the Inner Sanctum, but stood on them. I hope that was right. <laughs> Mr. Ah, oh, there we go. Mr. Amos was at the Inner Sanctum, just outside the curtain on the east side. That's the only place from which he could have seen the shadow shadowy figures. Really? Wow, I didn't even think of that. But wasn't the Inner Sanctum off limits to all but the victim and the accused? And the third party who was there, you mean? I get the feeling that's the subject prosecutor said Marty would rather not touch right now. Ah, you mean... That's right, this witness was at the scene of the crime. Which means he is a mysterious third party we saw during the divination seance. He could be the one who dressed as Lady Kira and killed the High Priest. What? What? No one but the two participants were allowed anywhere near the Inner Sanctum. And the only way up there are the stairs that start down at the Plaza of Devotion. So tell me, how do you propose the witness entered that sacred space? Oh, um, he must have... Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. The Sanctum has sheer cliffs on three sides and a steep towering rock face on the other. No one could have made it there by climbing the faces of those cliffs. His Majesty's streak speaks true. To say Mr. Amos was at such an inaccessible location is but a bid to tarnish his credibility. Is that not right? Right, I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. No sir, no how. At least I'm pretty sure I wasn't. But then, what about those silhouettes you claim to have seen? I certainly think I've been imagining things. What? Th this is insane! Oh my god. I know we couldn't trust that lawyer. He's trying to frame the witness. F peace, peace, I say. This is impossible. Unless I can show how he got to the Inner Sanctum. It just looks like I'm trying to slender Mr. Emus. I believe in you, Nick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's good. Ra ra sis bumba. Fight fight Phoenix rate. <laughs> just look at the accused. Has she no shame? 
What's your problem, lady? Phoenix Wright is very trustworthy, I'll have you know. She's got some nerve for a criminal. I bet that lawyer poisoned her mind. Please, Maya, you're only making it worse. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but it's probably best to keep it to yourself for now. Rah, rah, sis bumba. That's the best. I would advise the defence to think carefully before making any more sudden outbursts. Yes, your majesty. If it wasn't the bad guy bef- If I wasn't the bad guy before, I definitely am now. Now, Mr. Amos. I would like you to think back carefully. Before you testify next about where you were that night. Oh. Ding ding! I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. I was never at the Inner Sanctum, an Inner Sanctum I tell ya. That much I'm sure of, even with the fuzzy memory. Besides, I would have been impossible to get there, it would have been impossible to get there from the first place, in the first place. Well your lawyers sure are scary. Hmm. I guess it might have been impossible for him to get to the Inner Sanctum like he claims, but... Now, will you desist in trying to frame this innocent witness? Yeah, I'd like to see you explain how we got up there. Mr. Wright, is it not time to end these cross-examinations? A moment of desperation leads to 100 million years of torment. It means that for each moment a sinner spends struggling to deny their, to deny their sins, 100 million years of torment are added to their time in hell. Quranism is the strictest religion ever. Just so you know, you've already accrued 200 million extra years. Plus the 500 million years they started with, that's 700 years of torment. Sure, what's another 200 million, give or take? Well, it's a big deal to me. I can't keep saying that the witness was there at the Inner Sanctum. If I can't prove it. The problem is, how am I going to do that? Oh, you just do this thing called press. And do nothing but press. I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. I was never at the Inner Sanctum, I tell ya. How do I know? Are you sure you weren't there? All I'm sure of is that you're deeply sceptical. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, are all lawyers always like this? Most certainly. They always try to pin crimes on innocent witnesses without any proof whatsoever. They are no better than bacteria or viruses. Yikes. You mean he's contagious? He's gonna give me... Lyaritis. Ha ha ha! Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. Phew, that was a close one. You almost put me... Almost put me there at the scene of the crime when I wasn't even there. Why the fuck did he break out the lizards? Not much I'm sure of, even with the fuzzy memory. You just said your memory was fuzzy. I sure did. What's the big deal? I'll tell you what. Your testimony isn't very credible if your memory of the events is fuzzy. Oh, no worries there. My memory may be fuzzy, but I'm very clear on one thing. Here we go again. If you ask me whether or not I remember what I did that night, I'd say I do. In short, you are confident that your testimony is true. Is that correct, Mr. Emus? Exactly. Guess you don't get to be a judge for nothing. So in closing, I can clearly say that I was totally not there. <laughs> this is just like a joke character, he's gotta be. Besides, it would have been possible to get there in the first place. Hmm. I wonder if it really was impossible for you to get to the Inner Sanctum. If you have something to say, say it. Or just say it. Couldn't there have been another way to get there? A way that wouldn't attract attention? No, there isn't. Which means there is. Perhaps the defense would share its theory with us. I don't even have a wild guess, let alone a theory, though. Time to reach into my bag of bluffs. To reach the inner, san inner sanctum without attracting any attention, he fell from the sky, he climbed the cliff. Ooh! <gasps> Wait! Wait a minute. Oh god, I don't think I have a map, do I? Yeah, it's that. Is 
that the is that the escape? We got a hurt. Is that the escapee? I mean, given the fact of insurgent leadership and former paratrooper. Oh, shit's starting to make sense. He fell from the sky. Maybe you fell from the sky. I mean, looking at what he has. The goggles. He probably did just paratroop down. Or, you know, fall down. The lawyer thinks he's a comedian now. I was wondering, wondering what crazy theory you would propose next. Well, defense, let's hear it. Mr. Emus could have uh, parachuted down. We already know the weather was clear and there was no wind to speak of. Perfect weather for skydiving, I'd say. Ah, oh, the look on your face when I turn out to be right. If I turn out to be right. It's kind of a shot in the dark. Now that you've been backed into a corner, your delusions grow even more delusional. However, he was a parrot. There is a prison up there! Oh, So he did. And we heard about the escaped prisoner. And this guy just so happens to be an amnesiac. It all just kind of like fits together. The inner sanctum is on a tiny ledge upon a sheer cliff over 2,000 meters tall. One misstep and a skydiver would soon find themselves in the twilight realm. What if they were an experienced paratrooper? Yeah, I don't care how still the wind was, even I couldn't have made that jump. Wait, what's this building on top of the sacred mountain? That is Royal Penitentiary, number four. Oh right, Princess Rafa mentioned there was a prison up there. How do you get your prisons up there anyway? By helicopter, but only with author authorization from the Minister of Justice. He is the only one who can approve flights that pass over the Inner Sanctum. Mm. Yeah, I remembered about Rafer mentioning a prison. Might I also add defense? That no parachute or any other equipment necessary for skydiving has been found. Are you saying I flew down there by flapping my arms? Is that what the flags were? Oh my god, it's a makeshift fucking parachute. Oh, wow. It totally is. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. I may be an incredible dude, but even I'm not capable of that. Ugh. Well, please add that statement to your testimony, Mr. Emus. It's not like I can fly through the air, either. Well, you can, with the aid of this. The Sanctum Prayer Flags. Objection! Mr. Emus is right. He couldn't have skydived down there without any gear. Well now, finally come around, have you? Now you see that I couldn't have possibly been there at the Inner Sanctum. Right. If you didn't have any gear, that is. What on earth are you talking about? That overreaction is a dead giveaway that I'm on the right track. Take a look at this piece of evidence. Those are prayer flags, are they not? Yes, but they've been sewn together. To create one big banner. A banner that could also function like a parachute. <laughs> Paul Kunker. The people of Karine are so used to seeing prayer flags that the police didn't even think twice about these flags during their investigation. No, this cannot be. The witness landed at the Inner Sanctum by using these prayer flags as a parachute. Is that not right, Mr. Emus? There's no way out. I'm surrounded. Um, Mr. Emus? All this talk struck my memory. I guess... I guess I was there at the Inner Sanctum after all. His memory's just... all over the place. I was there. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? As I suspected, there were three people there that night. You did it, Nick. You weren't wrong after all. Um, thanks. Mr. Emus. 
You were the one disguised as Lady Kira that night, weren't you? What? N no way, no how. Uh, it's like, um... Oh yeah! I was only there at the Inner Sanctum by accident. By accident? Exactly. And that thing's not a parachute. It's a homemade paraglider. A paraglider? Are you telling me you can fly using that patchwork mess of material? I, it may not look like much. It may not look like much, but it's as sturdy as can be. I rode the wind like an eagle, going higher and higher from my earthly launching point. But then something happened that forced me to stop to land at the Inner Sanctum. So you just happened to land there. You expect me to believe that? Now, now, please calm yourself, Mr. Wright. However, the fact that the witness was at the Inner Sanctum is crucial testimony indeed. And it's, it certainly warrants further explanation. Oh. Explication. Therefore, let's continue with the testimony. Or with more testimony. Jesus. So now his testimony is... Oh, why I was at... Why, why I was at the Inner Sanctum. That evening, I was enjoying a trek through the night sky with my homemade paraglider. But just as uh, Mount Pony Pony was drawing near, something terrible happened. An accident forced me to make an emergency landing at the Inner Sanctum. As I landed, I banged my head, causing me to lose my memory. So you see, I ended up at the Inner Sanctum purely by accident. By accident, eh? Is that true? Mr. Emus, you failed to mention any of this during your pre-trial questioning. Can't be helped. I mean, I'm just remembering it now. Continue such slipshod testimony and you will be cast into the hell of hangnails. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god. That actually sounds fucking terrible. Oh 